Hello, good morning. Welcome to a little bit of a daily vlog. I thought I would do something different today and here we are. So currently I actually have Mondays off work. So I work Tuesday to Friday um, and I try and do like as much YouTube stuff in on that Monday as I can. Um, last week I was feeling pretty rubbish. So I'm gonna take this one a little bit easier and also I wanna vlog. So I wanna do some kind of interesting things with you whilst um, whilst I'm vlogging, basically. So yeah, I'm a bit, the you're kind of the first people that I've spoken to apart from Adam, but he was rushing around because he was late for work. So I kind of didn't really speak much to him. So just trying to get words out right now. <laughs> I have like errands to do. I have a video that I want to film and an IGTV video that I want to film. I want to do my makeup with you and do a little bit of a catch up. And then I want to do a little come drive with me because I've been watching those videos lately and I'm really enjoying them. So I've got a few errands to do. So I'm going to take you along for that. And I'm already behind. It's nearly nine o'clock now. I've just been tidying the kitchen this morning because you gotta start your week with a clean kitchen if you can and it was a lot messier than I remembered. <laughs> so I thought I was planning to kind of like be up and at a bit earlier, but I wanted to just sort that out and then we can focus on the rest of our day. So I'm gonna have some breakfast now. I've got some Greek yogurt and strawberries and raspberries. So I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna have granola. I don't really feel like granola with it. So sometimes I'll put granola in it. That's kind of like my go-to breakfast at the moment. Um, and I've just been watching YouTube in the background whilst I do that. I always feel like vlogs represent such a more chilled out day. Like, yeah, I'm just watching YouTube whilst getting ready. Um, and it's like, in reality, yes, that is what I'm doing, but I'm also like thinking about five million other things that I need to get done. So I'm gonna go get ready in a second. The, my makeup room is, oh well, it's a mess. Um, I really haven't done anything. Like July has been such a crazy month. We've been here, there and everywhere and any downtime I've had, I've wanted to just like whew, recoup. Um, and I've also been busy like with other stuff, which I'm not gonna talk about in this vlog, but I will do a chatty get ready with me in a few weeks when I can go into more detail about life changes and things that are going on. But it's been stressful. I don't deal well with change and there's been a lot of things that are changing, are going to change. Um, and that has been taking up a lot of my time as well. So I really haven't had time to keep the flat clean. But yeah, Merlin, I think has gone outside. I'm not too sure where he is, but I wanted to ask you guys if you have cats. We are struggling. He's got renal disease, so he doesn't eat tons and he's being really fussy with his food. So he'll go through periods of like eating loads and like wolfing it down. And then he won't eat properly for like two or three days. And we're like open, we buy, we're buying this special renal food for him, like the pouches of food, because that's what's recommended. And it's expensive food, like it's not the cheapest option on the market, but you know, it's for his health, it's vet, veterinary food. So that's fine, we don't mind getting it, but we keep opening pouches to give it, to give some to him and then he'll just turn his nose up at it. And so then we try and keep the pouch, but then it just goes bad like really quickly. I, just, I guess my question is, is it normal for cats just not to eat for a couple days? And should we kind of expect that and not try to feed him? We have dry food out for him all the time anyway to like pick at if he gets hungry. And should we just like not try to feed him wet food as often as we do? I'm not really too sure because I don't want to keep wasting all this food. It just seems 
uh, as well as the cost it just seems like a lot of waste that we're creating which is unnecessary and when the food goes bad it stinks the bin out so i would rather just not have so much excess cat food <laughs> in the bin as well um so yeah let me know if you have cats if it's kind of normal for them to kind of eat that way like eat loads and then practically nothing for a couple of days but yeah when he comes back in i'm pretty sure he's gone sunbathing because it's a really really nice day today as well that's the other thing so i want to make the most of the sun whilst we still have it and i have a day that is not sat in an office <laughs> After saying all that, now he's eating. So this is what I meant when I said it's a mess. It's not actually, there's not actually that much stuff here, but I just kind of have dumped a load of things from going away, getting back, going away, getting back, etc. And I just really need to tidy it up. So I'm going to see how much I can get done in five minutes and get it to a place where hopefully I can film my makeup and then we'll film together. So now you see the mess and now you don't. So that did actually take about seven minutes and this is the makeup that I'm gonna use today but we are looking a lot better. It still needs some final tidying and organization and stuff but it's workable at least. Okay, so if I don't mention what products I'm using, I'm going to try and link it for you in the description box because I'm probably going to forget to tell you. So, um, but I'm going to start with the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. Um, actually, no, I'm going to start with eyes. So I'll fill you in on what's been happening with me and why I haven't been too well whilst I'm doing this. So I... I'm going to start with the ABH eye primer, by the way. Oh God, this is not going to go well, is it? So this is the first time I've worn product on my eyes in probably like over a week. If you don't know, I often will have like allergic reactions to products specifically around my eyes. So um, last Friday, I started getting swelling on my eyelid, which is usually a sign that something, you know, it's gonna kind of happen and I'm having a reaction to something. Um, so I took antihistamines right then and there. They kind of help take the swelling down. It's very, very painful normally. Um, but by the next day, the swelling had gone, but they were really itchy and dry and scaly. And I had a wedding to go to on that Saturday, so... That wasn't too fun trying to get my makeup to look kind of normal because obviously when you're having like dry flaky skin it's kind of like eczema texture and obviously getting makeup to like look nice on eczema skin is not super easy so that was fun um but yeah it kind of was settling down by the end of the weekend i still was it still was a bit sore but it wasn't as bad as it had been so i thought i was kind of over the worst of it and then it just got gradually worse and worse throughout the week so i was basically unable to wear makeup that whole week oh my god this is i think this is gonna look terrible but we'll see um i was unable to wear makeup that whole week um so i didn't film so that's why i missed a week of uploads because basically i will insert an image of what my skin looked like on the screen here but yeah i was not able to put anything on my face it was just so red and sore and normally what the doctor tells me to do is just um use like special cleaning solution for your eyes like really it's like medical not like a skincare product it's like medical kind of solution that's like really 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 super gentle for sensitive eyes 
um because he was like you just need to make sure that the area is clean so there's no infections that spread or anything so i was doing that and then it was just getting worse it was getting way more painful so i booked a doctor's appointment and actually the doctor prescribed hydrocortisone which if you don't know you use that for eczema um to like get rid of eczema so i have had eczema before on my neck and stuff like that which i think also is normally a reaction to a product but it also flares up when i'm stressed and things like that uh i've just used the iconic cream melted chrome eyeshadow from essence i haven't used this sorry not iconic ironic <laughs> that's the shade name um i haven't used that this year i don't think so i thought i would use it and i was hoping that a cream formula <coughs> would look a bit better on my skin to be honest it looks absolutely awful but yeah i mean it's not sore anymore so i put hydrocortisone cream on all weekend and i was just like not gonna wear anything on my skin other than this hydrocortisone um and see how we go and it definitely there's like no soreness anymore it's just this flakiness so i'm hoping that that goes away over the course of this week i don't really have skin issues but when i do have this with my eyes like i appreciate so much what people go through with like acne and cystic acne because not only is it like you feel really self-conscious about how you look but also it's so painful like these kind of skin conditions like it's just means that you're never comfortable throughout the day is always like it's all even if you're able to like concentrate on doing other stuff and go to work and all of that which i was doing it was always at the back of my mind like ow i'm in pain kind of thing i'm gonna mix the ordinary serum foundation but um samantha and Alyssa's podcast i've really been enjoying and i listened to the one with raw beauty christy and they were talking about like chronic pain and chronic illnesses and it just made me think like oh my god i am so lucky that i don't live with one like i can't imagine what that would be like to just go through every day like being in pain having done that pretty much last week I, I it would break me i think so i think those people are so commendable for like just getting stuff done in their lives because i would yeah i think i would become very depressed i'm gonna take a little bit of the colourpop no filter concealer and put that i'm not gonna use too much because obviously the texture is really rough around there and i don't want to accentuate it so i'm just gonna kind of pat it in with my fingers as much as i can oh my god okay my hollywood contour one from charlotte tilbury is like officially exploded um i'm gonna take it on a little bit of a brush and i'm just gonna dip it in like this i'm taking a very light hand because i want it to look natural lily lolo sent me their um lipstick range like they have come out with like a nude range of lipsticks um and i'm gonna film a swatch video of that and like my first impressions of the formula and stuff i haven't used them obviously because i haven't been wearing makeup but i will try them out today on camera and see oh my god and see kind of how they perform and that video will have gone up on wednesday and i think i'm going to put this vlog up on sunday so you will have seen that video already it'll be my last video that i uploaded if you do want to go check it out and then I did want to open my Petit Vore box on here. I have actually decided, I'll, I'll update you now about Petit Vore. I've, I've canceled my Petit Vore subscription. Um, the reason is that there was always some products in there that I didn't like. So there was always some products that like either didn't suit my skin or um, I knew I wouldn't like the texture of it or um, the color wasn't quite right for me and it was just getting quite wasteful and also i wasn't able to use all of the product 
before I would get more. So, and there wasn't really anything that I was like, okay, I actually wanna buy the full size version of this. And that was just another expenditure that I didn't really need or it wasn't, you know, it wasn't really giving me what I wanted it to give me when I signed up to it. And also they sent me them right at the end of the month. So it wasn't even really working for content because by the time I could get the video up, everyone else had already got theirs up. So if you really wanted to know what was in that month's box, it was just kind of like out of date by the time I was able to upload it. So it didn't really make sense from, from that perspective either. So I was like, I'm just gonna cancel it. Maybe restart it in the future or do a different type of box. I don't know, but at the moment, I think I'm kind of done with subscription boxes for now. I do still think if you are looking for a subscription box, then the Petit Vore one is a really great one to try because you do get to try out a lot of green beauty brands. Like I hadn't really had much experience with the green beauty brands before. So this is the Catrice highlighter. I've spoken about this in quite a few videos. Um, the mineral highlighting powder, it's so nice for pale skin really works well and it looks really glossy i'm gonna use my anastasia dip brow gel i still don't know if this is like a love for me i'm using it and i will use it up but it just gives me a bit too strong a brow for my liking it keeps your brows stuck in place all day for sure that's great but it's definitely like I can see why it's the dip brow gel and not just a regular brow gel because it is what I imagine the dip brow pomade would make my brows look, which has always been a little bit too much for my, just my preferences, I guess. I, this is something that I got in my last Petit Vore box, actually. It's the Fior Minerals Eyeliner and I really like this. I am actually gonna put on some powder. I'm using the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. Oh God, Ooh! the only thing is the packaging is a little bit hard to use. I don't wanna to put too much under my eyes because they're so dry already. But I do wanna set it. Mascara, and then we are done. Makeup is done, my skin is looking pretty terrible, but I'm gonna film this video anyway and see, hopefully, Hopefully it looks decent enough for me to upload it. If it doesn't, then I won't upload it, but yeah. So I just got done filming and trying on all those lipsticks and I shot them for Instagram as well. I want to have some lunch. It's about 11.30 now, so it's a bit early, but I think I'm gonna go out about half 12 and then I'll probably go to my mum's after for a little bit. Because as I say, I kinda wanna take this day a little bit slowly. So I'm gonna do kind of a fun afternoon of like chilling with my mum. Um, she has a really nice garden. So I think I'm gonna go and read my book a little bit there and then come back probably about four-ish, edit, get as much of my video edited as I can um, and upload if possible. And then I have a workout at six. So, oh, I need to do my Petit Vore unboxing. As I say, I have now canceled my subscription, but this is July's box. This is my final box. Um, it is nice like receiving a little present every month. I will miss that. Um, we have the Kalos, Kalos After Hours Soothing Night Cream. It has lavender in it. So this is a pH balanced night cream which helps soothe irritated, stressed skin to quickly regain glow and vibrancy. And then um, we do also have the Ursa Major Bright and Easy Flash Mask, a three minute flash mask. So it's a fast acting enzyme face treatment for clear, vibrant skin. I do like exfoliating masks that are kind of um, like not gritty. So I, 
um, excited to use this. I really like the gentle exfoliant mask from Dermalogica, so it'll be interesting to kind of compare that. And then we have the French Girl Lay de Rose Vitamin C Polishing Wash. A Petit Vaux exclusive launch. This antioxidant rich plant derived powder washes, cleans, brightens and, exfoli and exfoliates. So I think this is to use on your body. It kind of smells fruity. It doesn't really smell like rose to me, but. And then we have from Termare, the smudge proof anti-aging eyeshadow base. So I think this is like a skin colored eyeshadow base. It says infused with hyaluronic acid, this waterproof eye primer prevents creasing while improving the skin's elasticity and minimizing the look of fine lines. So this will be interesting to compare to the Anastasia one because obviously it is green and it's $36. So that seems expensive to me for an eyeshadow base, even if it is green, but it's actually a very big, um, it's, like a it's like the size of a concealer. So it's a little bit dark honestly for me but it blends out fine it blends out to like nothing um doesn't really smell of anything but yeah we can try that out and see how it works it was a good six months petivo but it's over for now so i think now i'm just going to as i said have some lunch and then i will probably go in about an hour out to do some errands. So I've got to take an ASOS order back to the post office. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm keeping one thing, but I'll try and decide and then pack it all up and we can go to the post office. I also want to go and get a Starbucks because I've been craving Starbucks and I really shouldn't, but I want one. So we're going to do that because I really like drive with me's when like we don't have a drive through Starbucks around here, but I just like it when like you go. You go get some food, you go get a drink or whatever and like chill. So we're gonna do that and then what else? Oh, I need to go to the dump. Really fun thing, but I need to get rid of an old broken fan that we have. So I think I'm gonna do that at the same time because it's all kind of in the same area. So that's my errands to do. So I will see you when we're going out. So we are on our way out now. Wow, the, um, the lens looks kind of dirty. I'll clean that in a sec, but I just wanted to say that the lip combo that I'm wearing, if you're wondering, is the Lily Lolo lipstick in Eau Naturelle. So that's the most nude one with the Hourglass Unreal Gloss in the shade Ignite on top. So I need my phone. We're gonna put some music on and then we're gonna go to Starbucks. I've been listening to um, the Kistory playlist on Spotify. If you don't listen to Kistory and you live in the UK, what are you doing? Come on, it plays like throwback songs 24 seven, it's great. Um, but yeah, so I think that is what we are gonna listen to whilst we go to Starbucks. So I'm going to a Starbucks, which is kind of far. It's like 20 minutes away, but that's because that's the area that I need to go to. And also, I didn't realize that there was a Starbucks in this place. And normally I'll go to the closest Starbucks, which is in a Sainsbury's and it gets so busy and it's always hard to park. So this place is like just off the motorway. Um, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be quieter because it's kind of like a service station. So yeah, <laughs> I thought I'd just give you the lowdown on <laughs> which Starbucks I'm going to because that is really important. favorite type of music to listen to in the summer because it just makes me think it think of being on a beach with a cocktail in the Caribbean and it just I love it so who else likes to listen to reggae in the summer Starbucks where do I park oh one way okay I guess this way it is actually busier than I thought it would be here <laughs> 
I guess I forgot that it's the summer holidays. So people are probably stopping here on the way down to Brighton. Oh well. So I got something a bit different. I have been getting the cold cappuccino with like cold foam on top, but I now today wanted something different. So I've got the ice, just a regular ice latte with two pumps of caramel in, which I would never normally get sweetener, but I just felt like, mm, I felt like I needed something a little bit sweet. So the good thing about that Starbucks was that there was basically no queue. It was really empty. So definitely recommend finding a services Starbucks rather than your like town centre Starbucks if you have one. Don't walk oh. So many learner drivers out. There is literally I must have passed about three. I guess everyone's learning in in their summer holidays. Actually, to be fair, the test centre is around here because this is where I came for my test. So, people might be doing tests. I need to find where I can take electronic things. So that won't be cluttering up our bedroom anymore, which is good. So now I'm going to go back and take this ASOS parcel to the post office and then I will go to my mum's and then I'll probably just end the vlog here because there's not really gonna be anything else going on today. And I feel like this is already gonna be like an hour long. I might even have to split it up into two, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll probably end it there. I'm just gonna be editing and then go to the gym this afternoon. So there's really nothing interesting happening. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.